So, after a successful conversion of the Selena module uh, using three uh, RF transistors, three RF silicon NPN transistors, today we're gonna try to convert the other type of block, uh, an older one, using only two transistors, and uh, this time the, it's about uh, PNP transistors, PNP RF transistors. We're gonna test this conversion. One may think that uh, this type of block, it's uh, it cannot be used, uh, it can be used with uh, modern receivers, because it's having uh, the ground is plus and the power supply is negative. Well, this is not true for this type of block because the exit, the exit coil, it's not grounded. Those are the two uh, connection of the exit coil of 10.7 megahertz, and as you can see, it's not connected to the ground. Uh, so nothing can stop us to connect it uh, to connect it to the ground of the receiver, which is the plus of the um, of the block. Uh, it will work without. Uh, it should work without uh, any problem. So let's try to convert it and see how it works. So what you should do for the first. Uh, as a first test is to be sure that the word the block is working uh, correctly so that it's tuning in the old range uh, so here it is and we are closing the variable capacitor and we can see as the frequency decreases uh, so the block is functioning well uh, this time I switched a little bit the configuration as you can see here on the first pin you have a negative uh, voltage, uh, negative power supply, and the second pin is positive. Of course, it is connected to the to the chases of the block, so the chases will be positive with this uh, type of block. But it doesn't change anything, as you can see, the uh, varicap diode for automatic frequency control and one uh, terminal of the exit uh, coil of 10.7 megahertz are connected to the ground so the other connection which is this one uh, will easily go to the input of the demodulator um, respecting to uh, to the ground so it should work fine and that one is the antenna uh, that connection that you can see there is uh, is the antenna. So uh, let's start the modification and see what we get. So here are the modifications required to convert such a Selena block. And here you can see the modification of the components for the uh, to work uh, at the. Um, uh, in the range of 88 to 108 uh, megahertz and here you see the modification of the coils so for L1 you need to remove one turn for L2 you need to add a quart of a turn 0 0.25 turns this one I will not modify it I don't think that uh, the, that quart of turn will change anything to L3 you need to remove one turn and to L4 you will need also to remove one turn. So let's try these modifications and see how they work. So I made all the recommended replacements on this module. Uh, the resistors and the capacitors and I modified uh, the coils. Uh, on this coil, uh, this is the oscillator coil, I have removed the brass core and um, I have inserted a ferrite core so that I can achieve the, 
desired uh, frequency range. So let's see how it uh, how it works. Here we have the spectrum analyzer, and let's see what we can have. So it starts at 88 megahertz and I cannot stay long on a music uh, station because YouTube is recognizing the melodies, uh, the tunes, and uh, I receive a copyright error each time. The upper range is um, 108 megahertz, so it's just perfect. And a lot of uh, stations uh, can be received with this uh, with this uh, block two. It's working absolutely fine. So the modifications were successful. <laughs> 